Geralt. God summoned by Radovid. He wants me to find Philippa. What a king. Not only cruel, but naive as well. Did he truly believe you'd help him? I took the job. Why? Promised a generous reward. Oh, so the legendary monster hunter turns master headhunter, is that it? Largely depends on what's in this. A Megascope crystal? Damn, it's cracked. But it could still work. And Francesca's equally hesitant. Neither she nor Ida wishes to decide blindly. They'll stop hesitating as soon as we convince Kira and Fringilla. Fringilla's on our side. She'll join us as soon as she's finished some business in Nilfgaard. Wonderful. That leaves Kira. The problem is, I've still no notion where she could be. Yennefer and Triss? Yennefer's never belonged to the Lodge. And Triss? Well, we shall see. I must regain my vision. I can go to Novigrad, then see Arthur de Velista. The word is, Triss is also carousing about the city. You still insist? Phil, pardon my saying so, but you will never regenerate your eyes on your own. Vilgefortz did it. I'm employing the same method, cultivating tissue on precious stones. It's madness. You will need immense power. You'll put yourself in great danger. Damn it. That's it. I can't recover any more. I hear right. They mentioned the Lodge? Yes. And later, Philippa said something about vision regeneration. Hmm. Wonder what I should do with the crystal. It cannot fall into Radovid's hands, not under any circumstances. You'd better leave it with me. I accepted a job. Plan to finish it as best I can. Crystal needs to go to Radovid. Very, very bad idea. You could harm not only Philippa, but Triss, me. Yen, I've decided I'll give the crystal to Radovid. You're making an error, but it's your decision. This is the ship of His Majesty Radovid V, King of Redania. State your business. I want to see the King. It's about Philippa Eilhart. If that's the case, come with me. But no sudden moves. I've got my eye on you. Witcher, any progress? Have you found Eilhart? She definitely hid where your men said, but I arrived too late. Fortunately or not, can't really say. There'd been a fire in the hideout. Philip had died in the flames, most likely. 
A fitting end for a witch. So, have you any proof? Got this crystal. If I'd wanted a shiny bauble, I would have gone to a jeweler. You were to bring me Isleheart. This is a Megascope crystal. The mages you keep in prison should be able to extract something from it. Yes. Oh, at last. They might prove useful. Not exactly what I expected, but... Very well. You've earned your pay. Now forgive me. I have affairs to which you must attend. Long live, etc. etc. Come through. Oh, honor in the fatherland. Ah! Watch it. Looking for Gregor. You found him? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Dijkstra sent me. Been expecting someone. Let's take a walk. Nice job decorating your guard post. By orders of our gracious and merciful ruler, the good king. What was their crime? One on the right to Pella from a village nearby. Gave some bloke the wrong advice. Bloke's mates informed on him. Neighbor held a grudge against the one on the left. Accused him of witchcraft. Just humans at each other's throats. That's not Radovid's fault. Hmm. Who do you think set down the laws that mean folk hung for such offenses? Seem to have lost all respect for the king. Why serve him? What am I to do? I was born a Redanian. I won't desert. Besides, I enlisted when Vizimir was still on the throne. Now that was a good king, wise and just. Radovid's something else. He's got war on the brain. And I don't want Redania to look anything like that. Let's talk. Must know why I'm here. Take it, it's about our cobbler friend. Yeah, he came through here on his way out. Didn't come back, though. Patrol went out yesterday, reported an abandoned cart a ways off the road. Aimed to go out there, see if it's his. Couldn't get away. Thanks. Good enough to start with. Farewell. Hold on. You got a pass? Won't get back through without one. Yeah, I got one. All right. Good luck. Thanks. See ya. Your kind spreads disease. Defeatism and desertion. Deciding passes, not rather it. Outlander. Your asses. Ah! Right, me lovers, to work with bigger lads. Oh. Oh. Ah!
doesn't look damaged. Strange signs of a scuffle. Somebody got knocked out, dragged off. What? You lost your nerve? Tells me I'm on the right trail. Wonder where its wearer is. A shoe. Something tells me I'm on the right trail. Wonder where its wearer is. What's he doing here? <laughs> Greetings. Away go with you go. You did pick me. I can see that. Just wondering how those shoes is wound up here. Here you did gloves. Like the mushroom. Shoes don't sprout from the ground. You see who left them behind here? Mm. Mm. Speak no bog. Oh, anger gets og and pog. Og and pog. Those your friends? Findering of great og pog. Human finder on big suited cart. Suited big like so. Mm -hmm. What did they do to this human? Ogpog man's cow to take. They're over. Do you eat him? Nah, no. Body man's, stringy man's, blah. Oggy make man's suited make. Fog, pog and rog suited make. You even need shoes? Suited on whom is it? Suited once og, pog, and rog. Big lords trollers be, like humans is. So long. <sighs> Troll cave must be nearby. How to cuss. Geralt, my my, been bloody years. This whole relax, Og. This bugger's an old friend of mine. Bugger friend, I'll go. A wheeze in soup throw. I'd make for an awfully veiny morsel. Right, true that. Just look at the plowed bastard. Naught but skin and bones. Well, General Trolls, I time I traveled on. You, uh, practice what I taught you. Give you a fucking exam next time I come through. Don't let no go. Tell us sit. Sit us down. Tell us suck cock shoes is big. Got no time to negotiate with trolls. Step aside, Dollar. <laughs> Come on! You were a moron, 
killer. Looking for apprentices? Hmm? It's been a while. Fill me in. Nilfgaard fucking dismantled the Temerian Secret Service in one night. I barely escaped with me life. Proceeded to drown my sorrows till my liver screamed bloody murder. What do you do now? Grassroots work. I hang about the area, watching, listening, asking questions, and recruiting new agents. Life treating you all right? Eh, uh, bit like a potato beetle. I keep quiet, stay out of trouble, and live on fucking potatoes. Farewell. Yeah, I do. Most of the fucking time, thanks. Thanks again, Geralt. I'll take it from here. And I'll be sure to tell Roach and Dijkstra how you sliced up those dim-witted cocksuckers. As I see it, they'll be so impressed they'll shit themselves. Tell me, you were a fence in Vizima. How'd you become a cobbler? Pick the least suspicious profession. The fence thing, shite cover. Pissed too many folk off. I didn't need the attention. It's all about being an innkeep. You meet a lot of folk, you know, tossers mostly, but willing to talk about all sorts of things. Problem is, you're tied down like a mutt on a chain. One in the same yard all the time. Whereas a cobbler travels everywhere. Better believe it. <laughs> Even cobble together this fancy rolling stall. Lovely. Bloody bullseye. I've made a small fortune out of it since the war started. Those pricks in uniform are always marching. Know what happens when their cocksucking boots disintegrate? Their feet bleed, blister up. Not a soldier out there wouldn't sell his mother for a comfy pair of combat boots. So what'll you do now? What do you mean? Head back to Novigrad. Dijkstra, Roach, and I have got a master plan to set in motion. I'll ask again. Details. Forgive me, mate. I plow in calm. See, were it just up to me, I'd spill it loud and proud. You're trustworthy like no one else I know. But I'm not on my own. So, blooming unilateral decisions are out of the question. Traps stay shut, I'm afraid. Right. 
Gotcha. So long, Taller. And good luck. Oh, I could bloody use it. Radovid's one crafty all with a clap. But we'll figure a way around that twat. Soon the old bloody North will be blathering about how he got fucked. Careful it's not also blathering about three assassins, drawn and quartered. <laughs> Fear not, Geralt. We know what we're doing. Farewell. What's he doing here? Ah, now she wants it. What's the hurry, my prince? I was made for loving. With you. Not for all the gold in Novograd. Lovely natural surroundings. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now Wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here. We'll face them in battle. What's this about the Nilf Guardians? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. But fear not, we'll banish the Black Ones and the Wild Hunt. Two birds with one skeleton axe. <laughs> Siri will be safe in Kertrold. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morhen, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. 
I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait. Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erland on Crane did. Erland Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought I was a legend. Forged in Mahakam. Tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Oncrate family for centuries. And now, it's yours. I can't take this. You can. You must. Let me do this much, at least. If you insist. Thank you. May it serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Stay out of trouble, or you answer to me. Yeah. That caught a turn. Oh. Oh. Supper knives are good for picking your teeth, sir. An ox. What do you want? I'm looking for people from Unvik. They're dead. I see now, I heard many survived. Stubborn, get your... What do you want to know? You there when the giant attacked? Aye, I was. One of the Jarl's personal guards. Uh, I failed him. Let no credence to what the priestesses said. That we'd be punished for robbing the earth of iron. Forging it into blades that men kill one another with. That Freya would punish us. Perhaps they spoke the truth. Jarl of Undvik. Tell me about his death. Jarl Harald Houndsnout. His whole crew died that night. Wilmar, Wilfred, and Wilhelm. I reached them too late. Saw the giant dash Wilmar against a rock. He fell right beside me. All his bones broke, wriggling like a salmon on the sand. Harold was dead by then. What? No, Jarl fought like a bear. Slicing and dodging and hollering, then slicing again. Couldn't save himself, though. How did you manage to survive? First I heard the giant growl to those flying sirens. Damn me if he weren't giving them orders. Under stress, men see all kinds of things. I know what I saw. Rushed to help the Jarl, but one of the cunts sunk her talons in me, lifting me up. Tried to take me to their nest, pecked me apart, I reckon. But I broke loose of her grip, plummeted from quite a height, crashed hard, couldn't stand. Last thing I saw, swarm of sirens swooping down on the Jarl, thrashing round him. He yipped, he yelped, he screamed, he hollered. Then silence. 
The men escorting the women and the children to the ships took my unconscious flesh away and brought me to Ard Skellig. I should go. Yeah. Huh? Need help? Like it here. Greetings. I'm Geralt. The Witcher known as the White Wolf, I know. They tell stories about you every day around here. Looking for an open seat at the table? I'll be fine. Just wanted to talk. Heard Yalmar came here to gather men for his expedition. Aye, he did. Such spirit. Stormed in, swept the bowls off the table, jumped atop of it and cried, I'm sailing off to seek glory. Who's with me? Who wants to cut off that bloody giant's head? Guess that was enough to recruit a longboat full of men. Ah, they carried him out on their shoulders, yelling all the while, we'll win back the forge, string that giant up by his gizzards. Should have seen it, Witcher. Brought tears to my eyes. They wanted to take back a forge? What's that about? Never heard the Unvickers forge the best armor in these isles. Their swordsmiths are nothing to sneeze at either. Because we made our blades like the dwarves forged the sails. Soft layered core fitted with a hard steel coating. How do you know? That's a clan Todorok secret. Got some friends who are dwarves. Mayhaps you do. But the ore from the mines of Undvik, why not even... Well, no one's got it. That's that. Yalmar seems popular around here. He is crack, son. Clever lad. Put together a fine crew. Hardy drinkers and warriors both. By the times I've had to piece together tables and benches after hosting them. The Unvik lads he took on. No spring minnows either. In fact, was a clan Tordorok man gave Yalmer the idea for the expedition. The shipwright, uh, what's his name? Viggy? That's him. Hope to earn a new by name, the Fearless. Well, now they'd call him the Loon. Yalmar must have had a plan. Tell me about it. Plans? Ha! <laughs> they didn't even know where to look for this giant. As I recall, Viggy wanted to cross a frozen lake and scale the mountains. They say the giant came from there, awoken by the frost that gripped the land around the tower. To the harsh winter. Suited that man-eater perfectly. It can only get worse. Even the gods... Well... Mm -hmm. Another one don't believe Ragnarok is nigh. You'll see. All of yous. So long. Glad to be of service. If you need to know more about Undvik or the giant, ask Axel. Or that one over there. Or Anter. That caught a turn. You've been hiding in a dungeon, Best pale face. Not shy of a weak arm swinging at eight. You. I'm looking for men from Undvik. Yavor's from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with nary a rest. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. A lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Be your excellent Tadarok. He's over there. What can a bloke from Art Skellig know about Undvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Yalmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrete fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind, Dan Dyer. Need to get to Undvik. Uh, another thrill seeker. Well, then listen close, lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them shorter, just below the surface, so careful not to scrape right over them. Big breach your hull, you're done for. Because just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Uh, oh, fine. Watch for the currents, because they can drag you off course, dash against the rocks even. 
With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Jalmar landed. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other as. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing, before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Oi! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! Plain to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plough and scurry off so quick the waves rock your boat. Yavar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a whelp looking to collect bumps on his skull can only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zerakinian princess. Brave lad comes along. You sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahors hadn't banjacked my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. Nice talking to you, but time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you. This blade's not worth shite if a weak arm swinging at eight. Raining fucking buckets.
average mist. 